Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. It's just me and Harry today. We are at Dunham Massey, a National Trust property just in Altrincham, sort of a Dunham, obviously Dunham area. Um, so we're going to take you along with us. I'm not sure what's open. I know the gardens definitely are. I don't know if the house is. Uh, it's still half term around here. So that's why it's just Harry and I, where Emily is at school and David is at work. So let's take you to Dunham and see what we can see. So Dunham Massey has got a newly refurbished or new build, welcome building I suppose it can be. Um, so this is the new welcome building here. It's been here for a couple of years now, so it has definitely improved the um, experience here at Dunham Massey. I'm just going to put my face covering on. So you've got a welcome membership desk here, a shop over there, and obviously a cafe over there. So currently your pre-booking entry gives you entry to gardens, house, and servants courtyard. Um, you currently don't need another ticket, but normally if you are coming outside pre-booking times, outside COVID, you would come and get your tickets from here. Obviously National Trust members are free, and individual prices for everything else is here but you do have to pre-book online now. So that's where you get everything from. Where are we going? Deer park. Going to the deer park. I found on the map. Yeah. Eight is deer park, so we're here. Yeah. They're just there. Yeah, so this is where you park your car. Um, and then we're here. So we take a little bit of a walk down here, past the house. There's a garden, walled garden here, and then you can walk all this estate here. Um, it's not a church, it's that little building in the middle of the field, isn't it? And all this is deer park, so let's go really see what we can find. So cafe and toilets are just here, so toilets there and the cafe is down there. Um, and it's got lots and lots of outdoor seating here, which is lovely, and indoor seating too. So we're just heading towards the house and into the deer park. So all this is um, a couple of years old now and we absolutely love it, don't we Harry? No. <laughs> don't know. I remember it going upwards. So this is one of the outbuildings of Dunham Massey. It isn't actually open to the public. So this is the house, this is Dunham Massey House, which you can go in. I think the sign said from 12 o'clock, um, but I'm not definitely sure. And this is the grounds, and here the deer park. So right at the end of the path up there are loads of deer. We're going to take a closer look. So look at all the deer here. As Harry said, we can't see any male deers, but there's lots. And lots of females over here. Look. So the deer just roam around the grounds of here. Um, they've got free reign. They're not always in this spot. Obviously, they can be found anywhere within the park. If you turn around us, there's the house behind us. All right. All right. Over that way is the guard, the walled gardens that you can get into and have a look round. The house is over here. There is another big cafe and restaurant over there. And then the main parks are different spokes. So you can go down that spoke, 
down that path, that one, that one, or that one. And they all kind of link in together, don't they? Let me zoom out again and show you a bit better. So yeah, spoke there, down that path, that path, that path, and that one. Which way are we going? Down that one? Yeah. Oh, I see lots of deer up there, don't you? No. Look at them all here. Just chilling, having a snooze, munching some grass. Harry loves a bit of parkour, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Jumping around on all the logs. Okay. Yeah, probably. I'm sure it doesn't. Yeah, so you're not supposed to really go into the deer sanctuary, are you? Um, I mean, I think it means really into the deer sanctuary. I think you can play in a little bit of the trees. So we've just come up to the other edge of the park um, and then cutting along the park down this path. It's a nice walk, yep. isn't it? Getting us out of the house, stretching our legs, the nice fresh air. So all this area here is part of the deer sanctuary and obviously there are signs everywhere telling you not to play on the grass. All the areas and certainly don't feed them. Thank you, Harry. You Don't forget to shut the, the gate. Yeah, Harry's found a little den on our on our walk, haven't you? You a deer? Yeah. You're the man deer. Yeah. Or male deer. Life. I think your house is going to leak. Life. I don't think the roof will uh, protect you from the rain. Cool then though. Have we, have we ever built a den before? We kind of have. A little bit, you and Dad have. Yo, you see my back door? So we're just coming to the end of our walk round. It's just short of two miles round. Yeah. Um, some of the paths are really accessible, some of them are not so accessible, like the one around the back that we've just done up here. It's not definitely accessible for like wheelchairs. Push chairs you could probably push uh, struggle across but they are exceptionally bumpy. Um, obviously you can walk this path from the house all the way up to the gate and back, but it isn't very far. But then again, do you want to be pushing a wheelchair or push chair that far anyway? And some of the other main paths um, are quite gravelly anyway. Um, yeah, there's lots of deer around the park, isn't there? Yeah. So we're just back at the house now. I'm not sure what the plans are. Harry's getting a bit. Hungry as always. Yeah. So we might stop for a drink. I've got some coffee in my bag. What we about, might have a wander in the gardens. What about um, a van that has um, fire in it? Okay. So there is a. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> a pizza oven, wood-fired pizza oven van, oh, just up here, which Harry wants to go to. But we might go in the garden. We might not. I'm not sure yet. Here's the wood-fired pizza oven. Look at it, look at the fire, fire It does, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look at it. Just heading into one of the restaurants. This is the Stables restaurant. We've got an ice cream parlor here. The Stables restaurant is upstairs, but all we want is some drinks. How cool is this ice cream parlor? I have not been in here before. All this 
And there it's lovely. So we're just heading into the gardens. Which way should we go? Show us this way for a change. And have a walk down here. So you do have to have ticketed entry to come into the gardens. Um, well, yeah, pretty. Now let's have a wander through to the gardens. There's a little bit of a river around there, isn't there? Oh, there's a nice green truck though. There's the back of the house. Is it? Look, Harry said that's, back door, isn't that's like the back of the house. Imagine that was your back door, Harry. It was also. I don't know if that's the back door because I didn't see a door. No. And then you can. we'll take you up for a walk around there. You've got a beautiful orangery over here and all this lovely grass area. I think sometimes in the summer, they used to play games on here and when Cadbury's do their Easter egg hunts they do lots of st fun stuff out here but I see a bench over there yep. with our name on it they've made a friend it's coming closer the duck was there he just came marching up to us I don't think he likes your crisps though Harry don't think he likes salt and vinegar no and I'm not going to give him one Sorry, we've just picked a lovely little spot and are having a quick break. So nice. Cup of coffee. Harry's got a tango. Busy in here though today. Cheers guys. Oh look! This one's out too. So this is the lake at the back of the garden, or the back of the house as well. What have a lake in your back garden? I know, it must be amazing to have a lake at the back of your garden. How pretty does it look today? Um, across the other side is the way we came in. Obviously we've got the house here. And all the dogs swimming. Hello Donald. Hello head. Daisy. Off with the head. We're all here. And it actually looks like you can get in the house today. Which people are doing now. Oh I love these flowers. These. These purple ones here. The ones that are massive. The ones that, yeah, I like them, I love them. The ones that literally are taller than the stem, which is taller than the stick. I yes. Think. A lot of sticks. And this bit is the garden out the back of the house. I think it'd make a good vegetable garden, don't you? Yeah, or a herb garden. I don't know what. Is it, is it when a weird pattern, like a weird triangle box thing, eh? Like, a box thing, eh? Yeah. And a massive rat in the middle. Absolutely symmetrical, isn't it? And I don't then, think the plants are symmetrical though. No, I don't think they are. I think it would be very hard to make it. And let's have a look what's through here. Where are we going? I think we're going on the little island that's in the middle of the water. I like little islands in the middle of the water. I've been on one with loads of roller coasters on it, haven't we? Yeah. When did we go on it? Oh, yeah, Thorpe Park. Yeah, Thorpe Park. Has that really been released yet? Yes. Look, we're just on the little island on the other side of the walkway. Cool. So that's the entrance over there where we came in. Have we gone the wrong way? So this is a map of the gardens here. That's Obviously the got the house. That's where, the deer are. that's where we were a minute ago, wasn't it? And then you've, we only we only did this little portion here. Obviously, you've got this whole area around here as well. We are here. And then that's where we had our coffee. But we missed this whole section. There's a lo lovely um, rose garden up there that would be beautiful at this time of year. And there's different flowers and down this bit. So they are doing entry into the house today. Um, we just access it via this, but Harry doesn't want to go into it. Um, obviously, they must be doing a one-way system. So in this fr front area here and out towards the back garden that we saw before. This is the, like the stables courtyard area and the big clock tower that still works. The clock tower up there it's just chiming for 12 o'clock. Like every good attraction, you have to end up in a shop. I've got all these flowers outside though. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
Oh, look, Harry, you can buy them. Those ones are. Yeah, those massive ones. You can buy them. £10. Ooh. Eyebrows go up. Ooh. Oh, they're pretty. Um, this is, I don't know why. Gerbera. What then? I don't know what this one is. Yeah, lots of pretty flowers, aren't they? Oh my god, look like that. Oh, cool, National Trust top trumps. You need to build your bug house, don't you? So we've had a lovely morning here at the National Trust, we've done a massy, um, you could spend several more hours here I think. Over there there's like a giant picnic area as well that you can take like your balls and stuff and that's showing where the families go. That's where a lot of the families hang out up there, take balls, have a good day and just, balls? yeah, just have a nice walk around. Balls, yeah, huh? take like a football or a frisbee or have a good day out. Oh. There is also much longer walks you can do around here so if you go through Dunham Massey and you can join up to the Manchester uh, Bridgewater Canal, down the canal and back round again, so that's quite a nice walk as well. But we've had a lovely morning. Hope you've enjoyed our little short vlog of Dunham Massey. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below, any recommendations for National Trust properties that you've been to. And we'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.